thing to do. I get out in nature. While some kids his age are playing video games or solving Rubik's Cubes. I get to be with my mom and dad um, for a while usually. Abdullah Mood Offer is getting ready to go the distance. And I exercise, so kind of, yeah, kind of three in one there. Four times a week, this nine-year-old pounds the pavement to build up his stamina and endurance to reach a major milestone. And if someone like told me a year ago that I would do a marathon, I would, yeah, I would not believe that, but here I am. Abdullah says he's always been active, playing soccer and starting his own YouTube channel, doing exercises with his siblings. But for his New Year's resolution, he wanted to run a 5K and started training after the first of the year. Yeah, it was pretty difficult, but I think a big part of the difficulty was because I wasn't used to running like even distances like a 5K and I wasn't used to running them like in the cold and it was like below freezing during the 5K. So yeah, that was difficult. After successfully crossing the finish line in March, you did it. Well done. Abdullah set his sights even higher. This was a four mile. But a four mile race on the 4th of July was canceled because of rain. So Abdullah and his family earned his hardware anyway. We figured out a route um, to do and so yeah, we did the four miles. Now the fifth grader is training for the Twin Cities Marathon, with one of his parents either running or biking by his side. I might have gone just a bit overboard there, but yeah, I think it, I think it'll work. Out. His longest run so far is 18 miles, but he feels he can go even further. I think that it's pretty cool that like I'm doing a marathon at such a young age, so. And yeah, I think that it's cool that, yeah, I'm, I like running and that I'm going to do the marathon. Abdullah has become a familiar face around Buffalo from his frequent training runs, with passersby usually giving him a sign of support. Most of the people in Buffalo, they know him and they recognize him when he's running, when he's training, and they wave, and I got the wave just, you know, on, I'm, I'm riding along with that. <laughs> <laughs> Usually the, they're, like, really surprised, like, because, like, a kid doing, like, a distance that long that even some adults don't do. Um, but you, most of the people I've seen, they, they think it's pretty cool. His parents say a couple of people have reached out on social media, questioning whether it's safe for someone so young to run a 26.2 mile race. But they say they don't want to dash Abdullah's dreams. And for him, it's most likely a one-time thing. First of all, I care a lot about his safety, so that's why me and mom and his mom um, uh, focusing on that and always remind him that to listen to your body, uh, stop when you need to stop, stretch when you need to stretch. And if, if, you, if you feel that you need to stop, finally, um, uh, uh, there is no shame about it because you already did a big thing that everybody appreciate and everybody recognized, you know, for your age. As for Abdullah, he's just focused on putting one foot in front of the other. I'm not doing the marathon because just to prove other people wrong. I'm doing it for, for myself mostly. Um, and so, yeah, I think, that, yeah, it's not as much focus on that as it is on my personal goals. And regardless of whether he finishes the race or not, his marathon mission has already made him a winner. I'm gonna do the marathon, see if I can do it, and then for, yeah, a few years, I think I'll still do running, but it'll be like a side hustle and it'll be like shorter distances like a half marathon at most. For Maury Stories, Maury Glover, Fox 9.